let's get back to this. I know that we start a bit late for this. We'll hopefully start earlier tomorrow. I'm planning to go through quite a few of these. I'm hoping we stumble upon some good ones, but this one's okay. It's better than some of the previous ones. I'm going to give it more of a shot, but still. Let us continue. I'll delve into the world a few more times, I think. Still doors I haven't really explored yet. And more I could probably delve deeper in different directions. I'll start with you. Oh wait, this is the star world. Right. But you know, I didn't really find any deeper purpose for this outside of trying it white, black, white. And the blue star that'll take you to the one. I guess I should revisit the colorful worlds and see if there's anything else besides the colorful worlds. If I see a yellow thing to change the colors again, I'll do it. What is the purpose of turning it black and white? Just a wandering? Here's the wandering one. Didn't see that before, but still though. And I actually was at this plus sign, I remember this one. I kind of zigzag for a little bit. Maybe find the blue star is what your ultimate objective is in this area. I remember that the thing that turned the colors back on was like in this intersection of these bigger pathways. I guess then the objective is to locate that so we can turn the colors back on. That or figure out why we can even turn the colors off in the first place in this location. Yeah, I think this was about it. Yep, there it is. Yep. Now I'm going to find the blue star, and specifically I'm going to teleport back to the rainbow world. I kept on teleporting from very brightly lit world to brightly lit world and not finding the purpose. I'm sure there actually is a purpose, I just... It's completely gone right by me. Now where, oh where, is this fabled blue star? That kind of looks like something, doesn't it? It is something. Oh no, I'm not here again, am I? Fuck. Time to wake up. I know where that is, so... Fuck, before I go to through the light green door, I'm just gonna go through this door and I'm gonna take a little bit. Okay, it undid its colors again. I was gonna say I'll take a little bit of time though. I think the color thing which I can press is down here, anyways. Or is it up? Or is it. It might not be this one, it's just the really. The. Yep, yeah, there it is. They make it a little bit easier to find because the more thick pathways are the ones that lead straight to it, so... <clears throat> well, I found a point that'll teleport you to that one zone, but I need to go to that one zone. I haven't found a power-up or anything here either, which is why I find kind of weird. This area actually isn't that big. In honesty, it's rather small. But there's not much here. That or I'm just missing something super obvious. I need to find the blue star to teleport back to the Rainbow Road, I'm gonna call it, because that's definitely what- yeah, there you are, Rainbow Road star. Take me. Alright. So, ignoring the Rainbow Road star for the second, we didn't really explore any of these colorful worlds successfully, or thoroughly. We explored them, didn't explore them very well. So down we go. There was actually a few of them, I kinda just went up immediately and ended up there. One might be lower in the color fields. I didn't try going down or anything either, so it's definitely a possibility. I kind of like the grainy look of the sides of the platforms there. How they're kind of like dotted with different colors, so they come off a bit more interestingly, I guess. Now this is what I was talking about, I didn't really go down, so I'm going to try that this time. There is in fact a door down here. What might it lead to? A rainbow road, literally. <laughs> Not in a funny way, it's just literally a road of rainbow. Tree, and I guess the road leads somewhere. 
a darker road. It's like a regular road that led to a rainbow road. Alright, I'll give you a time. What is this? A staircase to an old decrepitic apartment building. That's locked. This one has a brighter light, though I think it's just alternating. This one has a light above it, which means is there some... yeah, you can enter it. How about in the only closet? Oh, a power-up. That's not what I expected, honestly. Can't go any deeper there, but sure. Now what power-up did I get? That's my pigtails. That's my school uniform. That's the knife power. Little ghost handkerchief thing. There we go, this is the new power. Again, I don't think the, in this game they have any specific abilities outside of, like, if you have the knife power pulled out, you stab people and you interact with NPCs, but yeah, I, I'll go down. A few of these apartment things are open, so that's kind of nice. Even if they don't lead to anything, this one leads to something, almost. I wonder if a specific power will let us go inside there. The music kind of just stopped, and there's definitely kind of an opening there. I'll try a few different powers and see if anything comes of it. No. I'm a student. No. I've got a knife. Negatory. I am a ghost. What if I leave and come back? Um. I already tried that costume. I'm an apple head. How about. Eh, well, I guess it's raining technically, but that wouldn't really open up the door for any reason. A sea monkey? He doesn't like sea monkeys. Alright, nope, none of my pals really doing much. I'll take the handkerchief. And get back to exploring. It was probably just an empty closet all along, but the lights were on. I just stopped trying to track with doors that don't have the lights above it. I know they're locked, but I'm still checking them. Even this one, which has light on, is locked. Oh! That got me. I won't lie. They got me successfully, so the light was a harbinger sort of deal. Well, no time like the present to wake myself up. Or go back to the room, because I'm always in a dream world in this game. I'll save for a second. Okay. So, I'm going to go back there, because I'm foolish. I wasn't done exploring all the colorful worlds still, so I'm just sort of delving in them fully. Oh boy, but that does mean I'm going to have to turn the colors back on and locate the blue star again. Blue star, blue star, why are you so goddamn hard to find? It's wandering somewhere around here, I know that much. Obviously, I say, like, it's some big secret there is a blue star wandering. But since it's a randomly moving thing, it's a little bit hard to pinpoint exactly where it may or may not be. Only because it's constantly on the move. Given it's not like super fast or anything. But it could technically be anywhere. Though it does have a spawn point, so it's probably pretty close to its spawn point. Don't see anything immediately. I think it's a bit more this way usually. When I see that plus there, it's like a sign to me. That's supposed to be a bit more like here or something. But maybe... There is, I was about to say, but there is more than one plus sign, but it's the one that's right next to the vertical line. Now, where for art thou, blue shining star? As I'll check this area. There it is. There you are. Take me back to Rainbow Road. I'm going to check to the left of the road, which I didn't get to explore previously, because I went to the right, which led to the apartments, and see if there is anything else to see. I really wish I'd gotten the speed power up at this point. Oh well, I mean, you know there has to be one somewhere. If we continue going downward... Down and down, I'm going to check the other side of the road. One side of the road had an end that led to something, maybe the other one will too. Alright. Let's go down the hatch. Eh. Take me, door. 
And I'll have to come back here even if this like even if this leads to something, because there was one more colorful world that'd be easiest to access through there, so. Hey, more rainbow roads. I like those stars stylings, but still though. There is a rainbow house at the end of the road. You can't bypass it, so I'm gonna enter it. Hello, rainbow design. I bet I could probably stab it and something's gonna happen. Well, no time like the present to stab someone in a chair. But nothing happened. Huh. Well, that turned out not being as useful as I would have hoped. Let's head on back. Eh. Wander, Eleu, Wander. <laughs> and up. So much to see, so much to do. Let's go to the next colorful world, because I literally went through all these different colorful worlds to end up in this one, so... I'm sort of just backpedaling my colorfulness at the moment. Hello, you. You're the thing that teleported me, right? Yep. To the weird Christmas light world. I hardly got to explore this world before I found that thing, so... I don't actually know if there's anything here or not. I'd imagine there'd be something, like there, there we go, there's something immediately, right here, it looks like a flashlight. Alright, flashlight thing. Switch between my powers to figure out which one it is now, that's the school uniform. Oh, here we go. I assume that I brighten up darker areas. That's just an assumption, I don't actually know that. But it's definitely a different power, and here is something else. A painting. Which leads me to a painting world. I don't know what I expected. Um, is there anywhere to go here? I guess not. That was a thing. It was a painting. It wasn't just a thing, it was indeed a painting, just... I guess that's an abstract area? Maybe I could do something with it. Back to Teddy Bear Land. So is there anything in Teddy Bear Land? I remember I was heading to the left slowly and there was a stalker that was somewhere around here that will actually follow you and try and get you in like some of the more peaceful stalkers that just kind of stand around, but hmm. Gain a feel for also how long this area is. It's been a while since I was in Teddy Bear, Gummy Bear Land, or whatever, so... Alright, so it's a little bit tall, but... I can make some decent progress. I'll use this green bear right here to kind of keep myself in line. Oh, there's the stalker also speaking about him. We're gonna continue going down. Is there anything else besides the orb to the other world? I kind of don't think that there actually is. Because I feel like since the stalker's there, I've almost looped around and haven't found anything else interesting. I think the stalker's guarding something. He seems to go back to a point and chases you when you get close to this one area. I think that's why he doesn't actively stalk you, actually. He's like guarding an area. Is he guarding something? I'm about to get to a point where he's going to start chasing me then if I get in his little ring of whatever he's defending. That does imply that he's defending something. Let me go to my ghost power. That's my knife power. I don't know if this makes me invisible, but I'm going to hope it does. Oh, no it doesn't. But I notice he's only been chasing me when I go around here. Like, he'll give up after a little bit. Or he's not giving up this time. Maybe I was just... I guess I was just completely wrong. Hmm. You just be behaving a little bit strangely. Now I know what this is. This takes me all the way back. I have backtracked completely. 
I have successfully navigated back to the beginning. I might have missed some things along the way, but some progress. I can get back to the white blood world and see if there is any deeper point here. I want to say white blood, but it's more like a dually world, honestly. So it does not loop vertically. That helps, actually. Well, actually, I swear to God, it looped vertically earlier. Maybe it loops horizontally, and that's how I ended up back where I was previously. Well, no time for the present to go upwards. You, you don't do anything, I remember that. Is a little dust mite thing nearby? Yep, there it is. Okay, I know where I am. I am going to leave this area. You gave me my first power. But I think I've done what I can do here. And I'm really close to the entrance anyway. It was really close to this thing. I remember it's like down below me right now. We're right there. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm probably not going to go for everything in this game at the moment. But I will enter through this last door and see wherever it takes me. Here. It, here as in I haven't been here before. Because I have not. How big may it be? That is the question. On the bright side, there might be some identifiable landmarks based on how this area technically works, but yeah, yeah. It seems a little bit wide, actually. I still haven't gained a speed power up. That makes me a little bit like, oh. Okay. I'm going to use this 8 thing as my identifier. Though, actually, I'll run into the green cube before I actually end up running into the 8, but whatever. Is there any point of fascination? Currently? Well, there's something. What are you? Oh. Welcome to the galaxy? It's kind of hard to tell what's actually a platform and what's not. I'm starting to get a feel for it, but it's still a little bit weird. It's legitimately hard to tell which way areas or pathways here. I'm figuring it out, but it's still not easy. And I feel like I'm looping. Probably because I am, but... Okay, I'm back at the beginning. I'll give it a little bit more of a chance. Not what I meant to do there. Let's try this way. Led me up. How about up? Alright. How about up again? Up. Let's try all the up pathways. Let's lead back to the beginning. Yep. Let's try it to the right here. I'm gonna go down this way. Now I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go down this way. Alright. I know where this turn takes me. I was here earlier. I don't know why I took it, because I knew exactly where I went, but yeah, I... I'll go left here. God dang it. So in this area, this shape, left lead there, how about down? That's the one turn. I'll try down. Am I doing something right? I probably just changed the music. Pathway. This is a longer pathway to the left. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'll try down. A bench. 
sit on it. Why don't we? Hmm, is there another point to this area besides having a nice sit? Doesn't seem like it. And she's leading me back to the beginning. Is there nothing deeper about this? I'll go up, down, that's the left here where it starts leaving me somewhere. I'll go left. You think there has to be something deeper here or something, but up. I guess I'll go back. That was something. It probably leads to something deeper, but I haven't identified what that would be yet. I was back to the eight. Yeah, I think the eight's right after this. Yep, there it is, the eight. Alright, I'll go up a little bit. This seems fine. I guess I'll use this huge ass structure to try and tell myself I've looped. It definitely sticks out. I'll continue along my way though. Hmm, if I was something hiding here, that's you know, not that weird gateway that we had entered into before, where or where might I be hiding? That is the question. Wander, wander, and wander as we may. Alright, so we ended up at the big structure again. I'll go up, and I'll loop. Here with the green pillar is a signification of where I am at the moment. I bet I'm probably going to run into the door again. That's my prediction at the very least. Now let me wake myself up. I'm gonna look into something.